my simple message for you today is a plead unto the master. Make me perfect, Lord. Make me perfect, Lord. When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. said in James 2 verse number 3. And you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say to him, you sit here in a good place and say to the poor man, you stand there or sit here at my footstool. Have you not known partiality among yourselves and become ju judges with evil thoughts? Hallelujah. Now we look at Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse number 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are justice. A God of truth and without injustice. Righteousness and upright is he. James chapter 3, verse 2. For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. Amen. If anyone sin not in word, remember our father is a perfect master according to Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse 4. Hallelujah. He is a rock. He is a rock. And his works are perfect. His works, his doing, his, everything about him is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. All his ways are judgment. I wanted to underline that. All his ways are judgment. He is perfect. Therefore, when you become imperfect, you underline it on you. For all his ways are uh, judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right in he, for he is. He is, or is he, right. So, people of God, when you now look at that James chapter number three, verse number two, we said, for in many, in many things we offend all. In many things we offend, offense, we offend all. If a man offend not in word, what comes out of you? The same is perfect man. And able also to bring up the whole of body. To do what? To guide the whole body. To direct the whole body. To instruct the whole body. People of God, this is our month of perfection. We have asked for money. We have asked for so many things from January to today. And he gave us this month as a month of perfection. What does he expect you to do? It should be holy. So that all that you have asked from January to this day shall be yours. Complete. You know, there's a song that says, Complete, complete, complete in you. Jesus Christ, I am complete in you. Complete, complete, complete in you. Jesus Christ, I am complete in you. It's not by works of righteousness, but by thy grace, O Lord. It's not by works of righteousness, but by thy grace, O Lord. It's not by works of righteousness, but by thy grace, O Lord. Yes, I am complete in you. 
Hallelujah. So for you to be complete in him is by grace. It's by grace. Praise the Lord. It's by grace. That is why every day you have to ask for forgiveness of sin. Because the whole world has sinned and become imperfect. Because the world is imperfect. So you don't, you are not in the world to be perfect, but by the grace, by his mercy, you are made perfect. You are made perfect by his grace. And that's why you have to be careful of what you say. What comes out of your mouth. That's why I love the, the gem, the word we have read in the gem, in the epistle about the gems that said, for in many we offend all. In many ways, we offend all. We offend all. You can offend anyone through the way, the way you look at him or the way you look at him. The way you respond to methods, by the way you correct someone. Hallelujah. For instance, if someone gives you water, the way you receive the water from him might be an offense to him or might hurt him. Praise the Lord. Might hurt him. And you unknowingly that you have hurt him. Both rejoicing while he's feeling pain in his heart. So that's why we have to be very careful. Remember the God we serve is not a respecter of any man. It's not a respect of any man. Praise the Lord. And that is why, can we see the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 1 down to 2. The priests, the Levites, all the tribe of Levi, shall have no part nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of the Lord made by fire and his portion. Therefore, they shall have no inheritance among their brethren. The Lord is their inheritance, as he said to yeah, them. That, because they are priests, the Lord gave instruction that the Levites shall do what? Their inheritance is the Lord, the priest. So when you say the inheritance is of the Lord, is the Lord, means everything we desire today is of the Lord. Praise the Lord. One today is of the Lord. So the first specify whatever comes to you. Sometimes we ask for money, and when money doesn't come, we begin to grumble. Oh, the money did not come. Oh, the man of God said, well, we are going to be millionaires today, and I, don't, I haven't seen the millions in my account. People of God, you have used your mouth to bring problems to yourself. Because the million might be at your door. Someone might be knocking at the door to give you that money. But because you are responding to that issue by looking at your pocket now, not looking onto the master, you miss the millions. And that is why he said to us, be careful in all things. Be very careful. Praise the Lord. Be very careful to obey all that he has commanded us. Jeremiah 7.23. He said, but this, but this command I give unto them, obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people, and I will walk in all the way that I command you, that it may be well with you. That it may be well when you walk in the way of the Lord, that it is well with you. And that's why he said in Deuteronomy 28, that do this, obey my word, so that you may live long here on earth, and it might be well with you, and you may possess the land which I've given unto you, which I give unto your father, I promise your father to give unto you. How do you possess it? Through obedience to his word. And to obey his word is by grace. That's one thing I wanted to note. To obey the word of God is by grace. So, people of God, I just want you throughout this service, always devote your mind on asking for grace. 
Because we talk about perfection. We talk about perfect. That the God we serve is perfect. The God we serve is complete. And we are all to be complete like him. But because we live in an imperfect world, we find ourselves what we don't want to be or we don't want to do. Just as Paul said, I find myself doing what I do not want to do. But it is not me that do it, but the flesh. Because the flesh is hungry for the things of the earth. And that's why the Bible said it's, it is impossible to know God in flesh. He said, in flesh and no man know God. It's only in the spirit. So today, I wanted to ask for the grace to act on his word. The grace to obey his word. The grace to obey his word. So my simple message for you today is a plead unto the master. Make me perfect, Lord. Make me perfect, Lord. And as you walk on the road, as you are going to your office, as you are sitting down, as you are eating, dancing, praising him, in your heart, continue to ask, Lord, make me perfect. Lord, I want to be perfect. Perfect my life. Perfect my way. Perfect me, Lord. I want to be perfect. I want to be perfect. I want to be perfect. I want to be like you. I want to walk with you. I want to be like you. I want to walk with you. I want to be like you. So that is what the prayer you make today. Hallelujah. That's the prayer you have to make. And that is my message. Praise the Lord. Remember today we're going to have mass prayer. We're going to touch you. And whether you like it or not, your life will change. Whether you believe it or not, that situation will change. And whether you believe it or not, you'll be made perfect. Hallelujah. Because we serve a perfect master. He said, do that, that you may be well with you, that you may live here on, long on earth. For you to live long on earth, you have to be perfect. How do you become perfect? By grace. You become perfect by grace. Hallelujah. You become, he said, I am what I am by his grace. Paul said that. I am what I am by his grace. So do not go bragging. Do not go showing puffing up. No. But the grace. Hallelujah. The grace. You know, we talk about perfect, 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 perfect. We want to be perfect. Oh, we want to make money. We make money. We do this. Yes. How do you enjoy the money without a perfect way? How do you enjoy that money? How do you enjoy the wealth? How? We love God. It is time for us to understand who we said. That our God is holy. He is complete. And he expects us to be complete. He said, if we obey and honor his word, we may live long on earth, and it will be well with us, and we shall possess the land which has given unto us, we shall prosper in all ways, in every way. And that's why he said, I wish above all things. So his perfect word for you, I mean, his promise to you, repeat, his perfect word for you, his promises for you, is to live long on earth, Enjoy health. Enjoy wealth. That's the perfect will of God for you. Praise the Lord. And when you see that these things are not happening or are not coming your way, you have to revisit your, your way of life. So today, you have to revisit your way of life. To revisit your way. If it's my foundation that has polluted me, Lord, I detach myself from that foundation. If it's my action that has made me to deviate from my way, I detach myself from that action. Renounce every negative word I might have spoken out. You might have said, oh, I'm dying. That's wrong. How can you say you're dying while you're the owner of your life? When I'm finished, how can you say you're finished when God has not finished with you? I'm rich. How can you say you're rich? Why your original does not come from the Father? So they visit all the statements. Whichever way you have, might have conducted yourself, let there be a divine visitation today. So that the Father 
will complete that which I began in your life. And by so doing, you will be complete to do, to be, and to have. And to enjoy all that they have put in place for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, it is well with you. Good morning. And we see you again. And began to think very well the areas you might have gone wrong. As you are thinking that, I want you to leave your case, leave your problems, your poverty, your sickness, your rejection, whatever you have gone through, or you might have gone through, whatever you've had, forget about it. I don't think about the one single thing today. Father, make me perfect for you are perfect. Father, make me holy for you are holy. Father, make me complete for you are complete. Father, make me worthy for you are worthy. So that when many see me, they see you. Amen. So that should be our prayer today. A moment of touch. So the evangelist will come up now. They will touch you. And your life will never be the same. Touch them now, touch them, touch them, touch them. Go ahead. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. He is on the throne. The greatest physician, the greatest doctor is there. We go to the And to finish the rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. And how long have you been she in this body? Can't. How long I, have you been in this body? No. How long have you been in this body? Now speak. Who are you? Many years. Many years. Yeah. And how many are you? Yeah. How many are you in this body? Many. You are many. many. Number one? Many. Number one? Anger. Number two? Oh. Number two? Sickness. Number three? Oh. Number three? Oh. Number three? Oh. Unhappiness. Unhappiness. She will N never have joy. Did you know she was coming here today? Did you know she was coming here today? Did you know she was coming here today? Why did you allow her to come? Why did you allow her to come? Listen, this is the month, the seventh month of perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. She can't be free. Now go. Out! Thank you, Lord. Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your freedom. Thank you for your freedom. Thank you for your freedom. In Jesus Christ's name. Now go. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This way with me, just stand firm. Believe in the master and he will complete that which has begun in your life. Remember in Deuteronomy 31, verse number 8, he said, And the Lord, he is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Fear not, neither be dismayed. The Lord will go before you, and he will perfect all that concerns you. His promises are ever sure. 
Praise the Lord. As long as you continue in same word by praising and worshiping Him, stand away from immorality, stand away from anger, unforgiveness, levitiousness, covetousness, and that which is not of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whatever He promise, it will complete in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why if you open your Bible, you look at Psalm. Psalm 119 verse 133 said, Order my steps in thy, in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Hallelujah. Order my steps in thy word. So the word of God have touched you this morning by perfecting order concerning it. And the Lord, who is your God, will complete that which has begun in your life. Iniquity shall have no dominion over you. Because the earth and its fullness is of the Lord. So when you fear him and honor him and love him, iniquities have no power over you. Iniquity will be beneath you. You have control over iniquity. You have control over the loss of flesh. You have control over finances, over everything. Because remember Psalm 8, he said, he gives us power to dominate. All that he has created. He said, What is man that I am mindful of him and the son of man that I visit him? What is man? So the Lord visitation, hallelujah. Lord visitation has brought a change into your life. The touch you had this morning has brought a change into your life, a change into your finances, a change into your marriage, a change into your career, a change into your destiny. If you believe, say, I believe. Say, I'm a changed person. Say, my situation has changed. Say, I am healed. I am delivered. I am liberated. And I'm secured. Praise the Lord. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on Plus two seven eight eight four nine nine three nine seven plow two seven eight four 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 seven zero zero two zero one one four nine three zero five three one God bless you.